Hi everyone, uh, welcome back again. Uh, I said uh, the other week when I did my Draco drum, I was going to bowl a few fish up. So what I'm going to do today is going to get a few fish out of here, the ones that have been going on myself, uh, piece of showers, get them out, uh, some Krishi Goys, the Yashif Goys shower, uh, Kahaku and all sorts of bits in there. So what I'll do, uh, I'll get them out, measure them up, and I can't remember exactly what they were, so what I'll do, I'll probably write in the video. Uh, what sort of size they were a few months ago last time I didn't like so let's get some growth rates and uh, let's have them up from there really yeah. catch them up and get back to you right I'm gonna catch a few up bowl them up so I've got a nice like tight little space that's all I've got here I'm videoing because uh, it's a bit dark outside we can't see pitch black so I'll catch these up put them in a bowl have a quick measure and uh, we'll go from there I'm gonna start with the two shear rolls let's see if we've got the gimming one Beautiful fish. It's 20, 25 cm. So I can't remember exactly how big it was before, but then I will put it on the screen. Uh, I think it was a few months ago when I measured these at last. I've got the other Shiro. It's got like a lightning bolt down its head. Nice semi, nice semi pattern coming on it. Nice breaks. And these are from uh, Just Short Koi. So they are knee side, these are they're slow growers. So we've got these not last year before, the ones that passed away. 26 and a half, 27 nearly. Two gorgeous little fish. So this one was a lot smaller, but has caught up now to this one. So remember before this was a slow grower. And this one took over a little bit. Gorgeous little fish. I'll right, get them two back and get a couple more bowled up. So these are two kahakus now. So I used to watch that one from the start, from, well, from the start, from when it's a baby. And it's probably about 20 cm, uh, 20 cm, two centimetres long. And now it's absolutely gone mad now. So it has got a sumi coming on its own. Well, now, I won't say it's spoiled it. It's come through, but saying it might come a nice sanky. Hopefully a bit more comes in the future, so we'll just uh, wait and see. But I used to call this one Saddle, it's like a saddle on its back. Always watched it when it's grown up, that's a couple of years and it's really good size to it now. Same again, it's a Ginnum one, Kahaku, but it's, again it's got a, a bit of semi again, just there. So it's only appeared that last month or so, strange. I'm saying the temperature of the water now is starting to rise back up again, so hopefully the semi will disappear. Well, I don't think it will like, but we never know, like, so let's we'll see how we go, really. So in the colder weather, that semi comes out even more, supposed to, so I'm going to heat it up and see if the semi goes, but I doubt it. The small gimming one is 20, 24 cm. Gorgeous fish. So if it comes out as a sankey, it comes out as a sankey. I don't mind, but the pattern is absolutely gorgeous on that. It's got the most semi coming anywhere else, can't see anything. It's in this old big one. Old saddle, used to call it. And this one is 20, 28 cm. Got some really girth on it as well. Beautiful little fish. So I've not checked them out for ages. Last time I did get them out, I was going to measure them up. So that pond with the Draco drum was absolutely, absolutely doing perfect, shall I say. I cannot fault it at all. We've got the mark on these. Scale of slime, there's nothing out of the other one. Absolutely doing perfect in that pond. Right, I'll get these couple back and uh, get a couple more out. Right, these are two of the Sankeys. So these are from uh, Just York Koi again. So I got these as Fry a couple of years ago. So now they are now the slower growers, obviously, had the heat and everything on. As much, it's only like 18 to 19 degrees in here. It's in a sumi, it's outstanding on those now. It's really nice and dark. This is a smaller one of the two, it's got a sumi on the head as well. It doesn't bother me at all. The small one is 20, 24 cm. So we'll put on the, the screen you know what size it was last time I did them. So I can't remember exactly which date I did them like, but it was a bit ago. And this one is outstanding, this one. You can see me on this and the pattern, scalation, everything. 
I'm loving this fish. So it will be a keeper myself, this one, 100%. This will be going in my pond next year. On the pond, the next pond I'm building in my garage. I'm saying this pond is, uh, this pond, this fish is outstanding. I really love this, the sanky I do. Gorgeous little fish. Uh, 20, keep it still. 27, so it's just reaching 28 cm. So it is on a knee side. That's a uh, gorgeous fish. If the head's in the way there, but I'm trying to keep it still. The fish that is, not the head. But it's absolutely gorgeous, the pattern on it. It's got plenty of semen to come down there. I'm really happy with that fish, I'm really happy. There's blue eyes. Same again, blue eyes. So these were the fry from a few years ago. And uh, I'm really happy with them. I said they'd have a lot more, but I'll have to see I lost them. The stupid boot, rubber boot on the bottom come off, but I'm really happy with those. Right, I'm going to put these ones back and catch a couple more. Right, here's some of the Adam Bayer Chrissy Goy we got as well. Ones that I kept back from uh, last year. Really putting some size on now. Especially this one. It's an absolute beast. So they're only small in the first one a few months ago. Obviously that's not Chrissy Goy, that's a Shire Goy. So it's one of them what I kept. Let's so see how it goes on. It's only a small one, but he's double the size last time I put him in here. So I've not been able to that one before. But this, I don't exactly know what it is. Someone tells me what it is, because uh, Dino, he's had one as well, I've heard my boys call Danny, and uh, fry what he had off me. I said I'm not 100% what it is, someone can tell me. Is it the Chris Goy mix? So it's definitely not a shisui, so it's in a, uh, Dan thought it was a shisui, uh, Dino thought it was a shisui, but uh, it's definitely not a shisui. It's got the markings of it, but I don't know. If someone wants to tell me what it is, it's one that I put in. A few months ago. It is 20 cm. This is going well now. This is popping out of a tank. Uh, is that a Krishi Goy? Yeah, I should say it is. It's had a buy a spawn as well. A fry from last year. I'll say it's 19 cm that one. Uh, next medium one is this one here. This is definitely Krishi Goy, though it's Krishi Goy. Some nice scalation, nice patterns on the side. Not perfect, but be nice in the window. You can get it still. Beautiful markings. 20. Get out of the way. 23 cm, that one. So they really put some size on. So we'll put the measurements what these were. I think I did three. I think it was these three I did last time in the video from before. So you've got this other Grishy Goy as well. Absolutely. So put some size on this one. Length, width, always. So I'm getting a few scales on this one. Splat of scales. So they look nice in the window. And this one is 25 touching. So I'm nowhere near that when I put them in, I think. So I will put that on the screen again, what uh, size they were. I'll say 25. That's measure. Yeah, go 25 cm. Really beautiful fish. So we're definitely keeping two of them myself. Uh, we've got a little small little shag as well. That's what they keep in. That's what the babies that uh, grew on like from the fry. So it's not a perfect pattern on its side. Bit misshaped, as you can see there. Let's see how we'll grow it on. And that one is uh, 15 cm. So I'll keep an eye on these, keep dates, start marking them down, write them down, and see where, what sort of growth rates are getting them. Right, let's get some more fish in the bowl. So these are a couple of what I kept back from Adam Byer spawn as well. So you can see these ones, it's got a big massive fin that has just a bit of deformity on that one side. So I thought I'd see how they go on. So that fin there is different to that one. So I'm not sure if they're the Shargo range. So it's not a brilliant fish, it's a bit deformed. A 
before we'll try it and see how it goes on. Same with this one, same again. Throw on fish. Proper dites. Dites fish. And we got this one. Yeah. Not sure what 100% what it's got in it. So just, uh, something caught me eye. I don't want to see how they grow on. It's got nice little white fins. White tail, white tip. Just uh, be nice to see how it goes on. I'll send these two. It's a shame for them, like, but not perfectly. So they will be going to someone new home somewhere. So I won't be keeping them to grow, but someone can have them. See how they go. Let's send these are. Uh, I'll say Kajakus. Does it turn out nice? Same with this one. Nice pattern on that one. Real nice pattern. So these are the Adam Byers Fry. That kept on. Send a pattern on that. It's coming nice. Scalation. So we're keeping that to grow on for a bit longer. There's 19 cm. Same again. Another Kajaku. A lot lighter colour on the head, on the side, a lighter one. And this one is 21 cm. This is uh, Adam Byers Spawn. A little one. 15 cm, I think I've had that one already. So these ones here, which I won't be keeping myself. 17 and 20 cm. So they're not brilliant fish, but saying. Go for someone's pond. Nice little uh, pond fillers. Right, let's put these back. Get some more fish. Got two kahakus. So and again, one's a uh, just short koi fry. What I kept a couple of years ago. It's his Nisai. Also, not had a heat on it. It's not grown. So then I will put the heat on it this year. This winter. So I've not even checked these fish. They're all pristine condition. Absolutely gorgeous little fish. He's even got to go around his eye as well. Not on his eye, just round it. Same again, other side. Nice symmetrical around his eye. When that comes out in the future, oh, bang on. That's definitely one I'm keeping. Beautiful pattern. I absolutely love that fish. So it's one of just short coys, fry what he had. It's 20, 21 or 22. 20, 21 cm. I don't know if it's grown that much, but say we will get some heat on this year. And this one, and the Benny on that is really outstanding. On that, it's got plenty more to come. The white is white on that as well. So the reason why I kept it back and kept that one, absolutely stonking fish. Patterns on it, perfect fish. That is nice white. Deep ready orange. Gorgeous. Let's measure it. Look at some bubbles now. 27 cm. So I'm sure to measure that one in the past as well. I'm going to keep an eye on that one now. So there's uh, definitely another keeping myself. Absolutely stunning fish that one. Absolutely stunning. Alright, I'll get these back now. The, get the Issa showers and the Shikoi shower. All I was going to say now is, wow, these have put some size on for the last time I've seen these. These are crazy now. So I've put four fish in here, four showers in here, and the Shikui one, and the two Easter showers have really put some size on. Absolute crazy. So I don't know if that size here now, but I'll definitely have a measure up. Absolute crazy. So I've still got the pictures of here as well. There are two Easter showers of one. Uh, one should I say bought in March. As you can see, they are in there. It's absolutely crazy. Wow. The size of them now. That's what it used to be. So that little one, the little shower, that was the same size as these Shishikoi ones. Uh, the Shikoi ones, sorry. The two Easter showers, which is that one. And that one, absolute crazy. The Shiku one is actually took over top, over the top of them now. It's gone mad. It's kept the body and everything. The Easter one, this one here has gone a bit chubby. So this one stayed nice. This one, gorgeous. So this is my little one. I 
a cat back. Actually, he's quite a nice fish now. But he's speckly. So now I'm going to put some size on as well. Let's grab that one. Ugh. 23 cm. It's not put loads of size on, but I'm about in, uh, in the description again. So this is the Easter Shower. The pattern on that is absolutely amazing as well. Trying to get the end in the, in the shot. Sumi on the side. The white, the Benny. That's beautiful. But this one is really strong. It's going to be a massive fish, that is. Sumi on that is outstanding as well. It's really, really dark, that is. But you can see it on the video because it's dark in here. So it's just a false light I'm showing you. But that there is massive now. The Shiku one just kept his body. I say. That's a stunning fish, that one. I'm going to pick that one. So pick out the same again. First one, first one over there. With the Kahaku. So we'll pick that one out there and a Kahaku. Just to grow one. So there we go. But the Easter Show is standing out. There, the Easter Show, sorry. The Ishiko Show is standing out a lot more to me than the other two. Beautiful fish. This water's a bit murky as well, but the injustice. So this one was 23. Uh, the biggest Easter Show. Big chunk. 30, 31cm, so we've got about 17cm when we first got there in March, put some size on, so this is a bit smaller one, the nice one out of the two, 20, 28cm I'll say, yeah 28cm, same again, nice fish, nice donkey fish, so that was massive I think, but then uh, the sheep goes shall we? Definitely done it for me for the you know, I'll say. The pecs, everything. And that's going to be a beautiful big fish, that is. Well, it's white on the eye as well, it stands out. So, the white on the back end. That's the white. Sirology, whatever you call it. Go use these names. And the Chico one is. We'll slow down. So 33. 33 or 34. Measure once again. I can't keep it still. 33 cm. It's a beautiful fish, that one. It's another beautiful fish, even the little one. Little yolk, just yolk koi that I've grown on myself, but it's a bit speckly. It's an English koi. It's a beautiful Japanese koi. Look how massive that is. Absolutely huge. It's gone that way as well, so they're going that way as much as gone that way. But this is to show it. That's nice. Although it's been on the head, it's red. Beautiful fish. Gorgeous. It's got tails on these. So I'm going to love the white on this Shiko one. It's got a nice penny on its head there as well. Yeah, nice face. My head's in the way, I think. Not sure. So then, gorgeous little fish. Alright, let's put these back. We'll land back in the hole now. I said I've made a mess. Obviously, you've disturbed them all. Any crap was on the floor. It's everywhere now. I'm saying uh, they'll settle back in nicer now. There's a few fish in there. What do you need to come out? There's quite a few. Catch them up and sort them out and go for them. A few of them won't be keeping until so I've watched the videos back a few times myself. And uh, work out what I'm keeping and what I'm getting rid of. Looks like it's wow, the, the size of them showers now is just absolutely crazy the size they're putting on. So they're only at 19 degrees, they get fed three, maybe four times a day. So they don't get fed a great lot really, but they're still growing, they're going mad. So they do turn up to 24 degrees, but I've got to get a solar panel finish on that first, so I don't have it's gonna cost a fortune to heat these up over the winter and everything. So get the solar panels up, I'll help it along a little bit, get this room heated up in here so they can get 24 degrees and pack some size on, probably five, six times a day getting the food in, it's only three times a day at the minute, just feeding with myself by hand, the auto feeder, nothing's in there, in there for months, I'm saying the size they're putting on is absolutely crazy, them showers, all three of them, the two Easter showers, the Shiko shower, crazy, in the Sankey, the Sankey's a gorgeous little Sankey, so the, well, a lot of these will be going, but I'm keeping probably half what's in here, half of these ones, half of those out there, so keeping them, so we've got to grow them on, won't be getting them just yet, like so next year sometime there'll be a few of them going, but most of them will be staying, not half of them like I'm saying, but absolutely crazy 
Outstanding. So we'll put the size and everything on the video as well. So you hopefully see the dates there from when I last time measured them, see what sort of growth they come on. But uh, there we go, really. So I do appreciate it. Uh, those that are already subscribed to us, appreciate that. Uh, people who wouldn't mind subscribing to us, and, uh, thumbs up, and uh, I do appreciate it. And uh, hopefully, we'll see you on the next one.